morning students today we will discuss about trusted indexing in the last videos we have discussed about what is a primary indexing and we have solved one numerical question related to the primary indexing so today we will discuss about the clustered indexing in the clustered indexing the indexing was prepared in the data file we have several fields like we will have a key field we will have a non key field all these things so now the cluster indexing was created on the non key field now this is let's state that a, it is a b c the attributes names are a b c now indexing was created on the attribute a which is a non key non key means it can have a duplicate values if you see that we have a value 1 2 3 is repeated twice 5 is repeated thrice so which so meaning is that we don't have unique values but the data file was ordered based on the attribute a so that's why we have values from 1 to 6 but we don't have unique values so it is created on a non key attribute and the data file is ordered file on the attribute a so now what we have done is that we have nine records in each record in each block we have three records so we got three blocks again let me repeat again we have nine records starting from 1 to 6 in each block we have three records so 1 2 3 records belongs to block 1 3 4 5 belongs to block 2 5 5 6 record belongs to block 3 okay so when compared to the index file we have two attributes one is that we will have a key value and we will have the block pointer now in the indexing index entry is created for each distant value of a clustering field means on the field a each distant value we will have a index entry in the index file so if you see that three is repeated two times whereas index entry is created only once and five is repeated thrice but index entry was created one but one is only once so we have one so for each distant value we have a index entry in the index file so the number of entries in the index file is 6 okay the block pointer points the first block in which the key is available meaning is that now let's take the 3 3 is there two times which is there in block 1 and block 2 so the block pointer points to where the three first three is available so it is available in block 1 so it is pointing to the block 1 okay similarly if you see that 5 is available in block 2 and block 3 but it is first available in block 2 sorry it is available in block 2 so we will the block pointer will be pointing to this one okay so that is what i want to tell the block pointer points the first block in which the key is available okay now we can ask what is the average searching time for this index file or if we want to access any record in the data file so which is equal to log n base 2 plus 1 Now let me come to why it is log n base two, where n represents the number of blocks in the index file. Why we are using the log n base two? Whenever we can perform the binary search, we can apply log n base two average case. Okay, this is average case I am discussing. The already the index file is in the ordered one. Okay, so if any content is in the ordered one, so we can use the binary search instead of linear search. So that's why I'm using the binary search log n base two is an average case where n belongs to number of blocks in the data file. Sorry, number of blocks available in the index file. So once I find the block in the index file, I will go for the this one belongs to because from this block pointer I need to access the block. So that's why it is log n base two. Plus one. Okay. So let me repeat again. This n belongs to the number of blocks in the index file, 
So that's why log n base two plus one is the one for accessing the block pointer in the data file. Okay. I hope you have understood what is clustered indexing. Okay. Thank you so much. And I request everyone to like, share, and subscribe my videos for further updates. Thank you so much.